Welcome to Dad Devotionals. It's great to have you. I'm Dave Domzowski, but I'm joined by two very special co-hosts on this Man Up Monday. Yes, I have my daughter, Magnolia. She is three, almost four, and my son, Davy Joe, David Joseph. He just turned six in October. And we're here to talk to you today about, what are we talking today about, guys? Christmas. 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 That's right. Okay, let's stop shaking the chair, the table. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It is, it is Christmas, Christmas week. And we wanted to talk to you guys about that. So we yeah. thought on Man Up Monday of the week leading up to Christmas, we could discuss some ideas of how you get, can get prepared for Christmas with your kids. So guys, before we start, why don't you tell all the daddies out there listening what you know about Christmas? Davey, let's start with you. God uh, is on the cross and he rose from the dead like three days later. Well, that, that is what he ended up doing, right? He ended up doing that on, on Pascha on, on Easter yeah. Sunday, but he was born to die for our sins, right? Yeah, on Christmas Day. Yeah, he, that's right. He was born on Christmas Day. And uh, Maggie, what do you, what do you know about Christmas? Here, come on, uh, come on in closer to us, baby. Come on in closer. Um, there we go. Um, we put up our trees. We put up our trees. Do you know what the Christmas tree is a symbol for? Jesus. Go ahead. What do you what do you know, Maggie? Jesus. Symbol for Jesus. Okay. Well, it's a symbol for coming together. It's a symbol of where you put the lights on the tree, meaning that Jesus is the light. He is the light of the world. And that, again, uh, the reminder that he came and he died on the cross made out of made out of wood. Right. Yeah. And he died for our sins. Yeah. OK. Now, does anyone remember? Quick quiz. Do we remember the different the three different gifts that the Magi brought? Gold, uh, frankincense, and myrrh. Good job. And that frankincense was made by Frank N period sense, right? Yeah. That's who made it. I had to throw a dad joke in there. Hope <laughs> everyone picked up on that. All right. So what, what thing, Hey Maggie, let's, let's turn around and face face this way. Yeah. <laughs> it is definitely one of the more interesting episodes. It's, it's going to be, uh, can you, you can only imagine I'm going to make sure I put the video up so you can see what I'm dealing with here. All right. Hey, really quick, really quick. One more thing. And then we're going to give the, the daddy some ideas to, uh, to, you know, foster a new Christmas tradition with, with their kids. So what is something else we know about Christmas? Here, Maggie, stop. Go uh, Santa comes and gives you presents. Uh, and you pray a lot. That's right. We do try to pray a lot. And we, we do acknowledge. And read uh, the Bible. And read the Bible. And we do acknowledge those that are Orthodox like us and also the Catholics. You know, we believe in St. Nicholas, right? Yeah. We believe in St. Nicholas. And he, we, had, we learned some pretty interesting stories about St. Nicholas, yeah. right? Who's the the um you know the the personage for santa claus yeah and uh what do we know about him he was a very generous man right yeah. kind of like santa claus is is with us uh, and, and he's <gasps> like saint nick and he's kind of like saint nick well it's in some of the songs right yeah. jolly old saint nicholas lean your ear this way yeah all right so those are some of the cool things that we know about christmas and that you know if you haven't shared it with your with your kids yet if they're getting a little bit older those are some things that you can do kind of educate them on just some of the basics if you're 12 or 13, don't forget it's Christmas. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Davey, for that reminder. So one thing that we did, we actually started this last night. Yes, Maggie, what can I help you with? I, I, I want to tell. You want to say something else? Okay, tell everybody something else. The Fay of Tokus. That's right. Okay, Maggie, it's your turn. Go ahead. Christ is born. It's okay. Let's start. We say Christ is born. Go ahead. We have a Santa tree over there. We have a Santa tree over there. That's right. We do. I'll send you a picture of that. I'll put it on social media so you guys can check out all the trees in the house. We actually have, how many do we have? Do you guys know? Like some? 14. 14. Like 10. 10. We have a lot. We have a lot of trees. Mommy has collected a lot of trees over the years. My wife and I have been together uh, 10 years of marriage, but then also 15 year, 15 ish years together overall. Can you tell someone else? What else do you want to tell them? Uh, we... Here, speaking to the mic. Church. Speaking to the mic. Uh, we even uh, we even have fake trees. We do have some fake trees. 
Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Davey. So uh, you guys can't see this. Hold on one second. We're going to show the camera this. So we, we do have a have a book that we that we read. For, we got it from the library. I'm going to try to not to have the light uh, <laughs> take over the title here because it is wrapped in cellophane. But um, we have this book called A Gift from St. Francis, and it's written by Joanna Cole. And I got to tell you, this is about uh, St. Francis of Assisi. And it's pretty cool what, what it talked about. It's some really excellent pictures about by the illustrator, yeah. uh, Michelle Lemieux. And it talks about how St. Francis was the first one, or, or at least according to the story, was the first one to have, hold on, hold on, let me finish, was the first one to have the manger scene uh, recreated and the night of the night of Jesus's birth recreated. So a very cool story that we, we uh, this today is... Um, December 17th, when we're recording this on Friday, one second, and then the 16th, the night before, uh, we, we read it for the first time. It's great. We got it at our local library. Uh, let me just see one second here. I think it's fairly, I mean, it's it's been around for a little while. It's from 1989, um, but you know, you can always check it out and see if you can find it on Amazon really quick, maybe Amazon Kindle. You can at least see the pictures, or maybe you can get it really quickly in time for uh, before before Christmas, or hey, you know, give it to them as a last minute uh, Christmas gift on Christmas Eve from you guys. Yes, Davy, what did you want to show uh, everybody? It's about being a fool over God. Oh, that's right. So, in, in parts of the book, we talked about it talks about how uh, Saint Francis would kind of take on some of the aspects of being poor, and in uh, I don't know about Catholicism, but I know in Orthodoxy. Uh, sometimes when a, when a saint is acting, you know, that in a way that it's not necessarily of the world, right? The world sees them as a, as a fool and they're called at, they're called fools for Christ. They're willing to, um, you know, look ridiculous, look crazy, but for Christ's sake. And it's a very noble thing and, and, yeah. and something that's very honored in the Orthodox uh, tradition. Good. And very good. Yes, it is. Yeah. And uh, Davey, did you have some, what, what's this card that you're holding here? Do you know? Mary, the Theotokos. That's right, the Theotokos. If you can see that on the video, uh, that is the image of the Theotokos, uh, the oh, Virgin Mary. Oh, but yes. Jesus inside the tummy. That's right. And, and Jesus <laughs> is there too. I'll put, hold it up once again. Um, so what the, I'm, I'm on the St. Vladimir's Orthodox Theological Se uh, Seminary's email uh, or mailing list. One second. <laughs> Thank you. Very nice pictures. Um, I'm on their mailing list, and we, they just sent this out this week. One second, let me tell everybody about this cool thing: the uh, 12 days of nativity gospel reading. Now, obviously, I'm telling you this a little bit late, but if you go to www.svo, once that, please stop turning the pages. www.svots.edu/12days, you'll see all 12 days there, so you can pick it up. Um, I think pro we're probably talking about the eighth day by the time you guys are going to get to listen to this. So you can at least um, maybe do a couple of the readings with your family or even do it as a, as a reflection for yourself. I know I, I, I like having things that kind of get me into the Christmas spirit. Obviously, if you're doing fast, if you're doing things like that, it's going to be one way. But the readings or some kind of reflection really helps. OK, well, guys, that is all Daddy wanted to share. Is there something else that you wanted to share with the listeners and the viewers? A Christ has risen from the dead, trying for them death by death. Well, we, we can get back to that on, <laughs> in, uh, <laughs> in Easter? on the Easter time. Yeah, you wanted to show everybody this cool yeah, tree? tree? Oh, this is a nice pretty tree, isn't it? Yeah. It's a little one. Yeah, my wife has kind of gone a little bit crazy and going to Michael. I buy everything in the world. She does buy a lot of things. Uh, but she's got a little bit crazy and buying things from like Michael's and everything to make the house feel really festive. Cause you know, we've, you know, this year, obviously we're trying to get back into having more family come over. So that's been a great thing. All right, guys. Well, we are about out of time for this episode on man up Monday, the Christmas and dad and kid edition. Is there anything else you want to tell the dads out there or tell their kids or right, Maggie, Maggie has left the table. Go ahead, Davey. Uh, um, I'll never uh, be mean to Christ. Never be mean to Christ. Very good, Meg. You don't want to be mean to Christ. You don't want to talk ill of God. And this is a time for the family to come together and honor the birth of Jesus. Go ahead, yeah. Maggie. Um, this is a bed. That is a very pretty princess bed from your dollhouse. Thank you for showing. Did you have anything about Christmas you wanted to share with everybody? Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean speaking. 
Did you want to speak into the mic about something about Christmas and tell everybody that, what, what's your favorite thing about Christmas? Uh, playing with the toys. Playing with the toys. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of a different aspect. Hold on. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Maggie. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That's right. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, impromptu episode of Dad Devotional, specifically on Man Up Monday. Um, you got a little bit of a kick out of, you know, some of the craziness that can go on in the Domzowski household. Uh, and I hope this was a little bit fun for you. I will post a video. I, I'm a little bit behind on posting videos. I'm, I'm, I apologize for that. Yeah, go ahead. Um, and these are mommy's things for the trees. That's right. Of course it is. And it's the fair tokus place. That's here, right. Take All right. it. All right. Well. We're going to we're going to end that here. Merry and Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. And uh, I thank Bye. you guys. Wave, wave to everybody. Wave goodbye. And I Bye. wish you all Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And uh, I hope you'll join me. Bye. In the new year.